From Nairobi, Kenya, you're listening to the Koza Podcast, brought to you by Koza.com. Karibuni sana kwa Koza Podcast, kila mtu, thank you so much. By the way, I hope you've been keeping well and that your journey with the Lord has been good. Now, if you don't have a journey with the Lord, you want to start listening to this conversation. Thank you so much for tuning in today, whoever you are. And you come and find us on a very interesting conversation because today we want to start talking about <coughs> what? Praying, maombi. Ever been in a prayer meeting and, you know, you just had this person going on there and it's like, Father, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> we are grateful, Lord. <laughs> Dear Father. Now, by the time this guy is getting to like the main prayer point, you're thinking, bro, man, what, what, what have I been doing praying? <laughs> How do I pray? And then you're there in the prayer meeting. It's like almost 40 minutes later, you've prayed everything for everything to your pets. And this guy is probably on point one. You know, it's 40 minutes later and you're thinking, and the second thing, Lord, you're thinking, second thing. <laughs> <laughs> Second thing, Lord. <laughs> How do you pray? How do you approach your time of prayer? This is a very important thing, and that's what we want to discuss today. How do we pray? And secondly, what to pray for, especially when it comes to praying things that are biblical. Gentlemen, me by the way, I'm going to a prayer, man. Because I would, I've, particularly Jungu is like, man, how, what, is it, what is the typical Jungu way of starting prayer? Here in Africa, in a Father in Jesus' name. Or if you go to Akina, Akina just talk to me. Mwadhaniyo mothiri. Preda kushokere agavo. Jesu. What's the most typical of Jungus guys? You said like a passionate, I'm not talking about like a boring Baptist prayer. I'm talking about like a real passionate prayer. <laughs> Did they just put boring and Baptist together? It almost like I don't know. I think we just kind of go straight up. But I will say what's kind of funny. I was going to say Heavenly Father and bang. But I will say, generally speaking, right. most Wazungu prayers a little bit shorter than the most. They are shorter, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I will say this is funny, pastor in the U.S. Right. We'd be talking. And I was like, he was like, "Hey, Matt, how are you?" I said, like, "Man, I'm going through a hard time." Right. You know, and I would say something, and uh-huh. he would just, and he would just start praying. He wouldn't even say, "Let's pray." Oh. He would just say, "Heavenly Father," and then like that. <laughs> start praying for you. And you're like, "Should I close my eyes?" You know. Oh, the conversation switches so fast. Imme- immediately, there's no, there's no warning. He no interludes. No full stops. Yeah. So that was. I've had to do that multiple times. To Man, me. I need to pull that on somebody. It's really funny. Like, you know, but some of this camp, you know, I'm having struggles. With Lord, thank you so. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and the thing is, he didn't he's close his eyes or anything. He's just looking at you as he's praying. Yo, father, you know, he's Allah. looking at you with his hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Stop giving us some tips. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting week. Try that this week. Yeah. Follow up next week. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? <laughs> Man. <laughs> Anyways, I, I, now one of the one of the most difficult things I know, and, and all of us know it. We have very interesting ways. People approach prayer in different ways, right? I mean, there's a Jungu guy who just prays, gouging his eyes out, looking at you <laughs> straight up, and there's just come prayers. People just pray, and but one of the most critical, if you ask me about prayer, and that's what I want you guys to help us discuss today is the what of prayer the, the things that we say in prayer because some people don't even know how to pray what to pray for so that in the in the first like five seven minutes the prayer is done you know um I, and i don't know what your what your take is on this one what is the longest prayer time you've ever recorded if yeah, oh. I mean, yeah. um i've prayed for an hour two hours yes Hey, brother. Oh, it used to be in a church <laughs> that um, <laughs> we, when we have overnights, <laughs> uh, when we have overnights, you have to pray like yeah. the prayer began from 9.30 all right. the way to right. to midnight. Okay. And then at 12, that's when you begin, you know, the first songs. Bro, are you uh, actively praying the all the time? Were you actively praying all the time? Um, not really. Not really. Okay. Um, right. Yeah, not really. Mm, no. uh, initially, it was quite difficult because I remember I used to listen to other people's prayers then, oh, and then look, then you, look, you, you look at the you. ones who are crying the most. Right. And then I just start praying for them. Right. It seems that person has more I'm issues than mine. <laughs> yeah, but then later I came to learn 
um, that, you know, you don't have, it's not a must. You have like all those two hours right. at once. You can pray even through the day mm. that you have, you know, some designated time that you can, okay. you can be in prayer. All right. Uh, all right. So all right. I think right. I'm enjoying that. You're enjoying that. Yeah. I'm enjoying that. Yeah. Yes, Bajan, back in the day before you reincarnated. So what, <laughs> how, 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 was, how was this thing like, man? Like back, back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> there is somebody who believes in reincarnation is quite excited when you mention that so. yeah. um for me i would say uh, at on average 20 minutes 20 minutes uh, yeah, prayer yeah. session all right yeah so yeah, yeah, basically yeah. using scripture what i've read because i do it I strive to do it immediately after okay. I've done reading God's word. So right. I use that to inform everything I'll pray about right. from right. the people to right. myself ah, and okay. to everything else. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Now, Matt, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid of asking you because... <laughs> Your services, uh, it's is is our first part of prayer, praise and worship. <laughs> your dad's service is a praise and worship at one, right? That, that's the whole service. You've sung, you've prayed, you've preached, you've gone home. Yeah, Season to tuna praise and worship on the and now as you get into a time of worship. <laughs> how, what, how many minutes have you racked in like a proper prayer time? From? If I was to count like a full day, yeah, I've done. You know, like during times of fasting, okay, right? All right then all I've right, done right. several hours, okay, several hours, yeah, all right, you know, all right, but all right. you know, now before I had kids, you know, before I have a you know, a little, a little boy, right? You know, I would pray, you know, 30 minutes to an hour every day, right? But now sometimes, you know, it could be even just a quick Lord have mercy on me, right? <laughs> In Jesus' name, amen, <laughs> amen, and just go. You know, and, yeah. and, 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 and we can't take these things lightly, and I want us to build on that. How then do we even because I think one of the ways that um Spurgeon there say, you know, by the way, this guy's not called Spurgeon particularly, yeah, but we call him Spurgeon because he is Spurgeon, uh, but praying through the bible or praying the bible praying scripture we have had people say you know sing scripture you know sing you know so when it comes to prayer there's also just that element of praying the bible i think matt if you can build help us to just build a conversation as you probably respond to when it comes to prayer, especially when you say amen in the morning and we started praying at night you know it's no longer funny there's nothing amusing about it mm. when we get the presence of the lord and we are not much as we can get a good laugh out of some of these but it's not proper that we're just sitting there and that we don't even know what we're doing in the presence of the Lord, you know. So how does God desire us to uh, participate and be rich in our prayer work? Is that God's will? What is God's will? Well, so first of all, you know, we see multiple times in Scripture to pray right. continuously, constantly. Right. Right. For example, Luke 18, 1 says that we ought to pray and not lose heart. Okay. Right? So in other words, there's an mm -hmm. idea of like persevering there. All right. Romans 12, 12 even says rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be right. constant in prayer. Right. Ephesians 6, 18 says praying at all times mm -hmm. in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And he mm -hmm. also in that verse, he says with all perseverance, making supplications for all the saints. So right. there's a lot of all there, right? Do we take these things literally, by the way? We should. Absolutely. Constantly, all the time, I, always. I mean, listen, there's some wisdom in how we apply this, right? Because at the end of the day, I have to talk to people. I have to go and <laughs> have to go on work. Your friend then is yeah. really taking this literally because you're yeah. talking and then he's just exactly, praying. Exactly. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think sometimes they're like, I'll, I'll say this, like yeah. I'm having a conversation with right. somebody mm -hmm. And somebody says, man, I have a question for you, Matt. Right. And now what okay. I'll do is in my internally, I'll also say, Lord, give me wisdom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Okay. So that's a little prayer. All right. Right? So I'm just thinking. Oh, that one passes for prayer. Yeah. Oh, well, I, I I don't need to start saying you know. Oh, Lord, I'm coming for yeah, you today. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't have to fold my hands, bow my head all the yeah, time, yeah, yeah, etc. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. And then, but now when we do pray, you know, mm -hmm. we see encouragements in Scripture to pray according to God's will. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. So I pray constantly, but now how should I pray constantly according to the will of God? Right. So First John five fourteen talks about if we ask anything according to His will, mm -hmm. He hears us. Okay. James four three now in kind of contrast to that, it says. Says, James encourages you have not because you ask not. He right. says that. So he's really encouraged us to ask mm -hmm. in prayer. Okay. And then he says in James 4, 3, you ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly mm -hmm. to spend it on your passions. So there's a we're encouraged to pray according to God's will. But if mm -hmm. you don't, then you don't receive. Right. Because okay. it's kind of like, you know, Scripture talks about how um, 
Jesus says, you know, we're not going. He's not going to give you um, a stone if you ask for bread. Yeah. He's not going to give you a scorpion if you ask for a fish. And those things that we desire, say, I mean, we, yes. we, we, in that pray for. But but some of us might be saying, Lord, I I beg you for that scorpion, please. And we don't. We think we're asking for a fish, but we're really asking for a scorpion, you know, or something like that. It's a quiet taste. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so so at the end, they want to pray God's will. So right. some of us think we might be confused. Am mm-hmm. I am I asking for bread or am I asking for a stone here? Right. So one way that's going to help us is by basically to pray the scriptures. Okay. But, and also too, we, we can know the will of God. It's, 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 in, it's, it's the counsel of scripture tells us. Mm-hmm. Like there's a, a whole bunch of verses in scripture. If you just look up will of God, you know, in the Bible, right. you'll find a bunch. Right. Like for example, Ephesians 5, 7 through 10 tells us it's the will of God to walk in the light and not in the darkness. Okay. It's the will of God, according to 1 Thessalonians 4, 3, to abstain from sexual immorality. All right. Um, those who do the will of God, Jesus says in Mark 3, 35, are those who are part of his family. Okay. Right? All right. And then 2 Corinthians 8, 4 through 5 describes the will of God as being generous. Ephesians 6, 5 through 7 is working hard for earth for our earthly masters, mm-hmm. our bosses, mm-hmm. essentially. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So there's a whole bunch of things in there. So we can pray basically, Lord, you know, I want to walk in the light, not in the darkness. I want yes. to abstain from sexual morality. I want to be generous. I want to work hard today. Right. So those are things that we can, when we pray according to God's will, he will hear us and he will answer us in those prayers. Does God really want us to, um, you know, be constantly um, praying in our lives because there's God's will then do this, do that, do that. But when it comes to prayer, then also because people will tell you, oh yeah, that's you're, you're being legalistic. Stop putting a yoke on my shoulder. You know, I mean, I, I am a random guy. I'm a free spirit. You know, I, and we know, I mean, the Bible says Jesus used to wake up in the morning, blah, 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 and all those things. So, I mean, uh, Spadion, maybe just uh, like a minute rest, you know, tagging on what Matt is talking about. Would you say that it's God's calling for the believer to have a f- very constant, consistent, always, all the time kind of prayer. And what happens for those of us who just do a five minute snap in the morning for two days? Yeah, it is. It is his will. Um, uh, we, as Matt has used certain Bible verses yeah. to speak to this, but also we have First Thessalonians 5, uh, 17, pray without season. Uh, so the idea is... That... <laughs> but Matt says we need to talk to people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but um, in even in that, yeah. talking to people, it's prayer is the idea that okay. you are depending on God. Mm. It's Yes, it's a two-way communication because it's our way of communicating okay. with God, but right. it's us saying to him, we cannot do this. We have no means to do this. And okay. that's why we are bringing ourselves before you right. to order our steps okay. according to your will. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Just yes. why should we pray the Bible? So we are saying we need to be a people of prayer. Okay. That's given. Okay. Fantastic. Maybe. And we can act, probably add a few things on, on top of that. Um, why pray the Bible? Can I just come and pray? And, uh, you know, now today you hear a lot of things going on in prayers. We will say things, right? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to start mentioning them because then we just, we detour all this conversation. But why is it important for us to pray scripture? Um, this Saturday I was teaching homiletics somewhere. Homiletics is about preaching. Uh-huh. And a uh, statement, we say that uh, it's only biblical preaching that is truly Christian. Pre- Christian. And maybe it's good to include it as well in prayer that it's only biblical prayer yes. that is truly Christian prayer. <clears throat> okay. Yes. Uh, so that. Um, are we? Are we? Are we quoted on uh, Google yet? Sorry. <laughs> I, I don't know why. Why is it that you? I, I don't know. I thank God that. Uh, my, <laughs> I, I thank God my media g- gentlemen around will take care of that. Yes, yes, yes. I don't know why he's doing this, but. Uh, 
Bible. <laughs> anyway, it is well. I hope I, should I repeat? No. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> anyway, um because it's possible, you know, that we fill our prayers uh with ourselves. Right. Um and we just put the scriptures. You see the Bible uh God speaking of course to Jeremiah, Jeremiah 1:12. Yeah. He's looking forward to see, you know, that the scripture is fulfilled. Mm-hmm. And so and so it is important that mm-hmm. any time we are praying, yeah. you know, that God will not respond to anything apart from in terms of what is really written in the word. Um so that hey, it's brother, not hey, just unajua kusema hivyo unajua kuna your people probably you say God will not respond to anything that is not in the word. Yes, he his he responds of course to his word. His word is um he's watching over to see that his word is fulfilled. Right. We have our own mindset, we have our own desires, we have our okay. own things, mm-hmm. but it's not if it's not serving his will, his mm-hmm. purpose, mm-hmm. uh he he's well fit and suited you know to know that this one uh, it's not going to fulfill in terms of you know his own desired end mm-hmm. and bring his he, for his own glory right uh, like you see in the scripture that Matt has read in James chapter 4 you want something yeah. you don't get it you know you go or you fight right. uh, because whatever thing that and you are asking you know it's for your own pleasure it's yeah. for your own you know it's just mm-hmm. uh, and we have many mm-hmm. people who are mm-hmm. making such kind of prayers today right. yeah, by mungu ni bariki ndio waone you know mm-hmm. Mungu ni bariki ndio wajue niko nazo you know they know that even christians you know that we can get uh, these things mm-hmm. so then you ask really who is at the center of this prayer is it right. us is it for people is mm-hmm. it really to glorify god right. now one will should say that uh, of course um uh, we should pray of course uh, the scriptures because god's people both in the old and in the new testament mm-hmm. they indeed prayed scripture okay uh it was not just their own words that whatever was happening in their environment as a circumstances yeah. they looked like you know what is the character of god what is the nature of god mm-hmm. if they are struggling with sin mm-hmm. they want to look in terms of god is a compassionate god you know right. is a god who is right. full of love mm-hmm. if they have a difficult moment mm-hmm. they are able to appreciate that is the creator you know yeah. of the heavens and the earth right. and so their prayers uh, were of course directed mm-hmm. again to the nature of god mm-hmm. to his character okay. and his desire right. for his people okay. and uh, if we look at our lord jesus christ mm-hmm. again mm-hmm. uh he quotes psalm 22 uh, even when he's on his of course dying on the cross Yeah. Said, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Right. And that's Psalm 22 uh, verse 1. So again praying the scripture, mm-hmm. we are following after the example of our Lord Jesus Christ. Right. And if we are to look at again even the early church that also this was in terms of uh, their trend that they indeed uh, pray Right. Uh, they pray the scripture mm. uh, so that they did not just just think of things things and random words uh, and say yeah. some random words okay. if you look at acts chapter 4 verse 24 to 26 you should be able to see like uh, the first part chapter 4 verse 24 part b is from um, psalm 146 verse 6 mm-hmm. and again the other 25 and 26 you are able to see psalm chapter 2 right. verse 1 to 2 right. and so we are following after that example okay. again maybe something else to say is that uh, praying for the scripture mm. this is because the scripture is entirely true you know okay. scripture is not like any other book because right. it is without error and again it is not even incapable of okay. cause of any error so right. Right. so this protects us again from error mm. in our prayers okay. you cannot go wrong when you pray the scriptures you cannot go wrong when you pray the scriptures <laughs> yes for those of us who are tuning in uh, right about where you are i don't know if you have been uh, doing these things lately but if you have not then you need to do it what's your latest browsing history such Well it needs to be www.gozap.com that's what it needs to be why because there's a lot of content for you right there for your growth for your personal development and enrichment tafadhali make sure that you get there and you link in podcasts uh, blogs other things videos uliza soma things that will help you to grow in the lord so if you've not visited us kindly do that once again www.gozap.com that's a place to go now once you get to that website you want to check out a few things one there's a place that you can actually share secondly you can actually send us a message and communicate with us there thirdly you can actually listen to or watch a presentation of the gospel in case you don't understand it fully now you need to do that because top right corner there's a receive christ button right there click it and you're going to see an amazing video that will help you to understand what the gospel is now you can you use that video in two different ways one for yourself 
to listen to gospel, to respond. If you receive Christ, send a message, let us know who you are, and we'll try to connect you with a Bible-believing, Bible-teaching church. Secondly, you can actually share it with somebody whom you probably be desiring to have a gospel conversation with. They can listen to it, and you guys can pick up a conversation from there. You know, idea, right? All right, fantastic. Secondly, you need to download the Kuza app. If you've not downloaded it yet, Yani, see me up on app, Yanni. We're going to PDF. Reader. <laughs> Kindly, download the Kuza app on your phone it's a very amazing app and you'll get a lot of devotions to help you in your quiet time and things that will actually help you to grow in the lord got you right talks idea so we are saying um what number one we are called to a life of prayer yeah true that okay so spajon in this era me to be available to zilikuwa to appreciate um justo is also helping us to understand you know how to pray um why we should pray the Bible? Why we should pray Scripture? Spurgeon, as you, I'm, I'm coming to you in a bit, and I want you to help us to understand how to pray the Bible. But Matt, before he does that, maybe in the next minute, not not, not more than a minute, something. Sometimes you can talk a lot, right? <laughs> what if the things I'm requesting, I cannot necessarily tag them with any verse. I am really asking that I need some money for fuel. And there's no way in the Bible that there's a verse that can help me to get money for fuel. How do I make such kind of a prayer to, to be biblical in a minute, man? They would say, yeah, because then, why? Because just saying very seriously, you know, pray, Jesus, I'm praying my Psalms, but I'm just thinking there are situations in life where I cannot pull up a straight sentence from well if i'm going with your example of the oh, fuel yeah, no. what i would pray is a general thing like in philippians 4 19 mm -hmm. and my god shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory I love and, so, to and so what i would say <laughs> what, I, what i would say is lord i thank you for the truth that right. through your grace yeah, yeah. you can supply all of my needs right. and this is a need that i have right now for fuel right so please provide uh -huh. so that's as an example of what i would do there's yeah. just general things you can do yeah because it's important because you see now somebody might, might but listen, I'm thinking, ah, yeah, okay, fantastic. Okay, you want me to pray scripture. But then this situation does not necessarily have a scriptural thing. And maybe that's something you guys can chime in yeah. much more. There's some general principles I think you yes. can probably go to in right. scriptural. Right, You know, scripture in general. Like, you know, God, you work all things together for good. Right, You know, okay. so I'm right. not sure if this is one of those things, you know, ah, that okay. is good or right. whatever will help right. me. You know, I want you to work this for good for mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. So there's things like that. General Again, principles. Again, what's the posture of your heart? What's you the know? posture? What's when your when attitude? When you are in. I I mean, I, is, are you inclined? Very fast, then I, then, 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 then I go to, then I go to. Uh, to are you yeah, inclined, yeah. Right. you know, to glorify God in whatever yeah. things that you desire? Okay. Uh, or are you just asking, is it about you? Is it about right. God? Right. So I think for me, the attitude, looking at attitude. like James chapter four, why okay. you're really asking for this is so right. that you spend it on your own uh, pleasures. So that tells us the kind <laughs> of, uh, <laughs> the kind <laughs> of <laughs> the heart. <laughs> yes. Yes, but I mean, in terms of, um, for me, the focus in terms of, yeah. you know, giving God the glory right. at the end of it all, okay. so. that that it does not, it does not settle, it does not end with me. Right. Uh, but there is, a God there is a God who eventually will be glorified by even what I'm asking for. How do we pray the Bible? Um, well, uh, the, the good thing with the Christian life. Yes. Is that the Lord has never left us on our own. He's given us multiple uh, ways by which to reach out to him okay. and that's why scripture right. is filled littered with uh, prayer mm. from exodus we have exodus 33 where moses says to the lord show me your glory mm. or he tells the lord do not destroy your people right um and such more such things here and there we right. have the psalms the mm. psalms is a book of prayer essentially mm. right it's a, you can either use it to sing or you can use it to pray. It's lit, right. it's filled with that. And you can also use it to pray against people. That is true. It has, <laughs> <laughs> it has what we, have, we call imprecatory psalms. <laughs> Very, uh, yeah, some anyway. of those prayers, oh, you yeah. read them, you're yeah. like, wow. Okay. They are dangerous. <laughs> yeah, yeah, psalm 88 comes mm. to mind there. <laughs> it's, anyway, uh, then we have the New Testament, Jesus Christ. Right. We have his high priestly prayer. It's actually... Mm -hmm. One of my favorite prayers is right. if I want to adore God, this is where I go to. I go to mm. John 17. Right, where right. Jesus prays to the glory of his father mm -hmm. and then for the good of those he has left. Right. Uh, God had kept put under his care. Mm. We have Paul um, with, the, with every letter he did. Yeah. He could either yeah. do a prayer right. like Matt's friend 
he could actually like <laughs> yeah with, with with eyes open yeah, wide like, like yeah, yeah. like Ephesians okay. Ephesians mm-hmm. is like this is to the praise of the glory of your grace then he starts praying immediately yes. there's yeah, no he doesn't even say let's pray uh, let's pray Bow down just goes straight into <laughs> prayer right. uh, but every letter he used to ensure that it starts with either somewhat of a prayer or what we are praying for you okay. what we are trusting the lord will do right. uh, for you and so scripture is littered with all these things especially mm-hmm. the psalms right uh, a particular psalm that comes to mind one of my favorites yeah. is psalm 16 which simply begins with the idea you are you the lord are my good mm-hmm. i have no good besides you mm-hmm. i i can use that to now adore god and say right in you i have my joy right i i have no reason to look elsewhere because where else can i go but to you right and then out of that verse 3 of the same chapter mm-hmm. it now says because you are my good mm-hmm. i will delight in all who call you they are he, who call you they are good as well right. and so that is for me as a means to use to pray for fellow christians or right. to pray for whoever i know is a fellow believer in right. church right. a friend like you guys and uh, then <laughs> what are the good Like that. <laughs> and you know how many people would long for support spot you to call them their friend like, that's serious man like, yeah. yeah so using that <laughs> yeah. and then going yeah. on just now to pray for myself right. oh lord teach me your pleasures forever more mm-hmm. up mm-hmm. to the end right and so that's one of the ways you can use the psalms are very helpful in this it's like psalm 3 and 4 mm-hmm. psalm 3 is called morning prayer Right. Psalm for in some translations yeah, yeah, yeah. Psalm for is called evening prayer so yes. you can use it for that interesting and then mm-hmm. we have thematic psalms as right. you say psalms of lament right. psalms that or mm-hmm. imprecatory psalms mm-hmm. we prayers you are like wow you want me to stab you know <laughs> it's a g what I, i pray for the stabbing <laughs> of this guy <laughs> like, yeah we need to understand right. as you say the context yeah, yeah, around that important. because yeah. israel was at theocracy so there is a difference there right. but it still can be a means to pray for mm-hmm. god's justice right. uh, for god's uh justice to reign over the world mm. and but also mm. can be a means mm. to use that to pray for trust in him to hope right. in him, to know that right. as a means to give you comfort that he will see you through mm-hmm. to the very end so yes wow. you have enemies wow. in the world yeah, yeah, yeah. but you have god right. with you fantastic yeah. then, i mean the, the only thing that then that makes me think is that if you are going to engage in meaningful prayer meaningful biblical prayer then you must be people who really understand the word of god i mean listen to what this guy is saying and all those things you don't you, you don't you don't you don't just know by heart some 17 and that's not a random point of knowledge <laughs> you know you don't just know some 32 verse 7 like right? you dig in you find yourself in this thing i think that's from what i'm picking from what you're saying uh, edgar um it's it's there's work there's work that we need to put in when it comes to um praying mm. the scriptures now as we just about wrap up my conversation today i have maybe uh like maybe like two minutes i want you guys to i want to hear from you one one of two things um that you will to respond right um how do i pray using some other scriptures in the bible how do i approach that uh but secondly um how how then do i make it a culture how do i make it something that i do constantly especially on matters that do not have a direct biblical inclination uh, i'm praying for i don't know I'm praying for exams I don't like people praying for exams you need to you need to pray that you study hard but um yeah things when random things you know so how, how how do i pray other portions of scripture the psalms are a very good place to go but how else do i engage with other portions of scripture that's too in my prayers uh one i think uh, yes. we we have to let of course the word of god dwell in us richly okay uh, colossians 3:16 and even christ in john chapter 15 verse 7 to 8 he says okay. if you abide in me uh-huh. and my words abide in you uh-huh. Ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you mm-hmm. by this my father is glorified that you bear much fruit right uh, and of course so prove to be my disciple so i think for me one i will say that uh, it's good that we really it begins from a place of really studying god's word okay. uh, for me what has helped me i have a bible i was given as a gift in 204 right and it has topics it's just topical and scriptures right and i have used it to date in terms of my prayer life whenever i go to the prayer room for example in the church, 
church, I always pray with my Bible open okay. uh, so that all this topical, if it's about confession, there are all these scriptures written there about confession and I use it for my prayer and it really enriches my prayer life. Right. Let me not go uh, speak further in no. terms of the testimonies about that, but it's powerful. It's powerful. Mm. Yeah. It's powerful. So, so we might just be doing an online service. <laughs> <if we continue. laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah. <laughs> for me, uh, one example I use right. in the yeah. mornings before I do my devotional times, right. I will pray Psalm 119 verses 17 and 18. Mm -hmm. Deal bountifully with your servant, Lord, mm -hmm. that I may live and keep your word. Open my eyes that I may behold wondrous things out of your law. Right. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. So that's literally just quoting. And you do that daily. Yeah, I do that daily. Suit up the verses in Guinea, Nini. Yeah, so, the, <laughs> so that's one I'm saying is a practical way right. to do that. Oh, so now, nice. there's other ones I could say, like there's there's been there was a time I remember reading Psalm 119, verse 71. It is good for me that I was afflicted and I might learn right. your statutes. Mm. So I say, Heavenly Father, thank you for the trial that afflicted me. Right. For now I'm able to better learn and understand okay. your word. Right. Interesting, interesting. Yeah. Um, Spadion, you want to say something like in, in 10 seconds? Um, well, you could use the narratives as a means by which to, you know, set your mind on things above. Right. Let's say right. an example, Dave, David uh, with Bathsheba and all that. Right. We, we can use that as a means to say, Lord, I'm not better than him. Right. There's no way I'm better than David. Ah, but okay. all right. by trusting in you and not turning away and being idle right. in my mind, right. I can trust that you'll see me right. through, that yeah, you'll okay. guard my heart and mind from the things of the world. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And definitely don't pray that the Lord will lead you like David on top of a roof, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Okay. Well, I mean, um, <laughs> Yanni, I don't know what to take is, but how is your prayer life, man? It can be rich or it can be quite boring, all right? And if you want it to be rich, you have the scriptures, right? They were saying pray through the Bible and there are many ways you can do that. Now, I think it's up to you who's tuning in. Are you going to do that? You need to do that as an individual step of personal growth. So do that and the Lord is going to enrich your prayer time. Itakua muruwa kabisa. Alright, well, until next time, it's good. The podcast, we're out. www.kuzaapp.com is where you need to be and the Kuza app on your phone is what you need to download. Until badai, situanani. Thank you for listening to the Kuza podcast. Brought to you by kuzaapp.com An online ministry with blogs, videos, podcasts, and a mobile app. Make sure, to, make, make, make sure to subscribe to get more content to help you grow spiritually.